Hey guys, this is Matt McCoy. I'm one of the Ableton Certified Trainers with LoopCommunity.com. And today I just want to talk about a question that is asked a lot. And it is, hey, I'm running my loops spontaneously, meaning I'm jumping around to different sections of the songs. But how do I do that while still having band cues to let my band know where I'm going? So, for example, I have a song set up here. This is Forever Rain. And I'm going to jump around spontaneously, right? I'm going to start the click. Let's go to the verse. When there's nothing good in... Let's go to the chorus. And oh, I'm running to your... So we can jump around. Let's go to the bridge. But I'm jumping around, but there's no way for my band to know where I'm going. So I'm going to show you a simple way to add band cues while being spontaneous. There's going to be two different ways we can do this. Let's just start with uh, way number one. So I'm going to go to Create. I'm going to get Insert Audio Track. I'm going to click that audio track and move it over here to the far left side. I'm going to right click, rename it, call it Band Cues. And here's where I'm going to put all my band cues. Now I'm going to just go into my live library and hopefully on loopcommuter.com you've downloaded the free band cue pack. Um, if you haven't, check it out. It's for free. We've got cues in Spanish and English and we have a ton of different cues. Worship leader, drums, bring it in, build it up, swell, etc. And they're free. So go download them. So what I'm going to do is I have this band cue pack and they're just wave files. Verse 2. Verse 2. And so verse. um Let's go ahead and find the verse cue. Verse. I'm going to click and drag and move verse right here. Let's find a chorus cue. We're going to move chorus right here. And let's find a bridge cue. Bridge. Click and drag. And let's find an outro cue. Outro, where are you? Outro. Click and drag. And let's go ahead and just, I like to colorize these, so I'm going to set the color of these clips. So here I have cues, but let's see what happens when I hit play on these. So verse. Verse. Let's go to the chorus. And chorus. Oh. You can see that's a problem because there's not enough time. It's not really a cue. So what we're going to do, we're going to set it so this clip plays immediately when you hit play on this scene. So. Right now, I'm going to double click on the clip, and under the launch settings, there is quantization settings for that clip. Right now, it says global. What that means is it's using whatever quantization setting you have up here in the global quantization control. So, globally, right now, the quantization is one bar, which means it waits one bar until it triggers. We're going to set this clip instead of being global, to be none. Let's do that for all these, all these clips. Just the band cues, though. I can do them both at the same time by holding Shift and Select. So now, the blue clips are following global, which is one bar, and the purple clips, our band cues, have no quantization to them. So here's what happens. We're in our intro. Let's go to the verse. Verse. And now the verse clip starts. Let's go to the chorus. Chorus. And oh, I'm running to your arms. I'm running to your arms. Let's go to the bridge. Bridge. My heart will sing. No other name. Chorus. Chorus. Oh, I'm running. So that's cool because these cues are firing right when you launch these scenes but the actual loop files are waiting a bar let's look at another way you can do accomplish this same thing cuz let's just say you actually want to count in there i'm going to go and delete this scene we're going to start over delete that track i'm going to go to create insert midi track and this way i'm going to go ahead and rename these to band cues and I have some band cues that have already been set up for my Loop Community cue pack. And let's go and drag in a verse clip. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Basically, it's just a MIDI clip. 
and I've drawn in the cue. So it sounds like this. Verse two, three, four. Verse two, three. Let's turn off looping so it doesn't go over and over and over and over. And let's go ahead and drag in the other one. Let's drag in chorus. And let's drag in bridge. And again, let's set these both to not loop. And for the quantization for these, what we're going to do is we're going to set these to be one bar. So it's going to wait one bar to trigger the band queue. And we're going to set our global quantization to two bars. So this gets a little bit more tricky. But now our cues are waiting one bar and our clips are waiting two bars. And you get something like this. Verse two, three, four. Chorus two, three, four. And oh, I'm running to your arms. So that way, you still get the counts in there. It just gets a little bit more complicated because now you're having to trigger two bars ahead of time instead of just one. So personally, I like the first method better because really that just acts the same way as if you were just in the microphone as the worship leader is saying verse and then you go to the verse or chorus. Let's go to the chorus. So I prefer method one, but those are two ways that you can use band cues while still being spontaneous in your worship set. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.